How do you actually test new Facebook ads in 2023 when you have some new creatives or maybe new copies you want to test? What do you do to test these specific assets? Today, I'll be diving into a Facebook ad account and actually manually showing you inside of a Facebook ad account. I'm also going to go through a slideshow as well to give you some extra bonus value. This is going to be a really amazing video, ton of value for you guys who are kind of in that place right now, figuring out how to test new Facebook ads. So before we get started, if you're questioning why I'm credible to be teaching these types of things, my name is Nick Terrio. I run a Facebook ads advertising agency. I've done over $60 million in online revenue specifically for our partners and also coach and mentor a few students. So you can click the links below for both of those links, work with Nick Terrio or have Nick Terrio mentor you and um, you know, find out some more information about either one of those. Now, before we get started, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. That being said, let's dive into the video. So first thing is I want you guys to um, watch the two videos really quick and this is going to give you guys kind of just understanding of how we run our facebook ad account or you can watch them after if you have any questions around how we run the facebook ad account so if you have any questions about how we run single campaign structure with dynamic creative tests then watch this but for the most part um you know we'll show you a lot of that but if there's any unanswered questions watch these two videos so again um today we'll be going over kind of how we test new creatives and everything like that so first things first is that an ad concept is a theme that three creatives follows and the same messaging will be used for all three creatives and these three creatives will be three photos or three videos do not mix the two and then lastly same facebook body copy plus facebook headline will be used for all three creatives and then on top of that uh you also have one other winning body copy and headline and i'll show you that in a second so i think the best way to start this video is me just going and showing you what like how to actually do this and set this up in the ad account so basically here's our ad account uh just fair warning if you try to go funnel hack me whatever it's a business that we just have spending 100 200 bucks a day to purely create videos like this because it's very very difficult for me to uh, censor a lot of information in client accounts and that's where we spend the bulk of our stuff uh, we spend about a million dollars a month on facebook ads for our other clients so just full transparency on that so here is our single campaign structure here is our um you know cbo single campaign optimized for purchases this is our main ad set. This is where we put all of our winning ads at. Now, when we go to create a new creative test or we wanna test some new specific ads, what we're gonna do is simply go ahead and create a new ad set inside of here. Now, when you do this, again, you wanna make sure that this is a CBO. Don't do ABO or anything like that. We wanna make sure it's a CBO with a new ad set inside of here. Now, we'll call this ad set just pretty much whatever we are, like our name for that ad concept. So we have a Google Sheet that we keep all of our ad concepts in and we, like each one has a number on it. And that's kind of like the number slash name that we use for that particular ad concept to keep track of it as it goes throughout the whole agency. And if you watch the video, how to create Facebook ads that convert in 2023, I have kind of like a more uh, in-depth version of how we do all that. So I'm just calling this 139 because that's the kind of like the name of these particular ad concept may it continue and um let's just go through this really 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 quick uh so first things first is that let me just click on this really quick all right cool we're doing website it website and shop is perfectly fine no big deal conversion event purchase budget and schedule i'll always like to put this for uh the following day at midnight so 12 a.m there we go and then i do broad targeting so age gender location so united states is where we're targeting uh, this product dominant both female and male that buy it in a variety of ages so i'm not really worried about that and then i always do automatic placements now because we're doing a creative test here we want to make sure that we turn on dynamic creative so make sure we turn that on right there let me hit continue we already know how to do this all right cool Everything else is set up correctly. All right, awesome. Now we're gonna go inside of our ad set because we have our new creatives we need to test. So let's just take a look at this first thing. All right, cool, I got all my pages selected. Multi-advertiser ads, you can leave that on. Doesn't really do anything. I haven't really seen anything significant. And then turn off optimized creatives for each person. And then now what we're gonna do is just go ahead and select those videos. So I'm doing videos for this particular creative test but you can do three videos or three photos. Again, three videos or three photos. 
Do not do two photos in a video. It just, it breaks the whole testing procedure to we're following. So here's my three creatives, 139, 139, 139. So I got three identical videos, except the first thing I'm doing is testing, um, for this particular test, I'm testing the text hook first, but 99% of the time I test the visual hook first, but it's just cause this particular, and I'll explain, I'll show you in a second why. So there's my three creatives. Um, now primary text, one primary text is going to be an existing winning. So existing winning body copy. And then your other text option is going to be new body copy. All right. So you have two different body copies in here, an existing winning body copy. And then for headline existing winning headline, and then an existing or not mean a uh, new headline. All right. Awesome. And then just put the name of the website. Obviously just put your URL to your website. I recommend uh, product pages. That's where we've seen the most success, but I'm just uh, putting in something right here. All right, cool. So now you can see how everything's set up correctly. So again, optimize for creative for each person is turned off. And let's just click on edit video because I want to show you guys this. So this particular video, it's literally a solution aware ad. Solution aware ad just means that they know what the product, they know what they want from the product. So the desire, but they don't know what the product is yet. So all we're doing is simply opening up that market. That's it. Hey, that's what you want. Well, here's our product does that. That's it. You want to make more money here. Our product does that. This one it's, Hey, do you want to, um, you know, surprise your gift, like surprise a loved one with a gift? Yes. Great. This is a perfect gift for it. So a solution to where at people are actively looking to, um, you know, buy a product. All right. And well, uh, not really actively buying a product because at all stages they're actively buying a product, but solution where it's just where you can start off in the sales process. So for this one, like I said, I do, I'm doing it slightly different just because for this account, we've tested a thousand different videos and this video just always performs well. So what we're doing is doing a text hook on it because we're pretty deep in the, the testing process of which we're testing videos. So I'm doing the text hook. So for my text hook, I'm doing um, one of those little TikTok comments. And then I just did a different text hook on each one. So this one's, uh, let's see, how do I sweep my partner off their feet? This one is is I feel like I'm the worst gift giver. How can I get better? And then this one is uh, my hubby had made one for my me for Valentine's Day. Love it. Thank you, baby. Cool. So I have three different text hooks. Now I do have to say these text hooks don't completely open up a solution where market how we would like it to. Um, but there we go. That's three different text hooks right there. All right, cool. Obviously for shop destination, you'd want to go directly to um, your particular, uh, you know, your product page and all that, but there we go. So we have three creatives, all exactly the same video. You can see 14 seconds, 14 seconds, 14 seconds. I recommend for the first test of videos, you change just the visual hook. So here, if I would just want to change the visual hook, then I would run the same text hook on all three of these. And maybe I would just do a, a different girl for each one. That's a different visual hook. Boom. And then we have one existing winning copy, one existing wedding headline, new body copy, and new headline, and then it publish. That's it. And I'll show you everything we're going to do in a second of how we actually judge the success of this particular ad set or like DCT, for example. So going back to over here again, the first test we always do is visual hook. It was just, this is a unique scenario right here of what I showed you again, the visual hook is what is on the screen in the first three to five seconds. This is not the text on the screen. It's what it's on the screen. So in this particular case right here, you can see this powder being poured out on the table then we could do maybe a person sipping a drink and another person maybe working out because uh, it's a weight loss product. Okay. Next thing is what we can do um, from here is actually going into more of your text hook. So this is what we tested in our ad account right here, the text hook specifically. And this is where we keep everything like the same. So we would keep the same um, like visual but all we're going to do is change the text on each one. So a different text hook on each one. This is what a text hook test looks like. You're have the same creative three times and it's just the first three seconds that's changed. That is it. All right. Next one is we'll take the rest of the video. And again, this test and this test are optional. It's only if you think that there's some room to improve If there's no room to improve. You don't need to do an iteration. It's a waste of time. So the rest of the video, this is where we're going to dig into other things, deeper levels of consumer psychology. So they not believe the product will work for them. Is the product too complex and they don't understand it? Is the editing too slow or too fast? Do we need to make the product look more important? Did we put too much into the video? Is there any beliefs that we're neglecting? So 
where you again just going over other deeper things in consumer psychology and just to give you an example of what that test would look like here's three videos all with the same text hook and visual hook all the same except maybe this part just changing the how it works section and introducing some new stuff right there. And then once you find a new winning concept, also look at creating variations of it. So if this one particular account where we have a winning image and with that winning image, the winning copy and the winning messaging and like there's a lot of winning things right there we found. So now I'm breaking that apart and creating other ads out of it. Just creating some UGC videos, some other image ads, some other types of videos, all with the same core messaging and identity right there. Going a little bit deeper into how we actually leverage those DCTs so this is where you would definitely want to watch these videos and i'll show you in a second too as well because what we're looking for is that here's our main ad set for a completely another account here's um over three days because we run the dct for three days and then if it doesn't get any spin again if it doesn't get any spin or it gets a lot of spin um and not hitting our target cpa so we can get little spin and hit our target cpa or it can get a lot of spin and not hit our target cpa those are both fail tests. We only want something that's gonna spend more than our main ad set. So here's a scenario where we tested three different um, DCTs. None of them spent more than our main ad set. And then also two, looking at our overall performance, none of them had an impact on our NCCPA, which is our goal, is our target NCCPA. Next thing is we have a new DCT we launched 123 in this account. You can see 123 quickly took up all the spend, spending more than our main ad set. So this is technically a winner, but I also have to confirm it's a winner by looking at overall NCCPA. So you can see NCPA $31. So we're actually hitting our target NCPA. This is getting majority of spend and it's creating an impact on overall of the business. I don't just look at Facebook, I like to look at the overall impact on the business because that's how I judge the success of something. A new creative test is the success of has on the overall business. Here it's doing that. This is a winning test. We're good to go. So again, your weekly goals, one new concept a week, one new iteration of existing concept a week. That's two DCTs a week. If you start spending more, like more than like a thousand or two thousand dollars a day, then you can start doing four DCTs a week. Launch three on Monday and then Wednesday night. You know, you, you might have or launch two on Monday because you only want two DCTs running at a time outside of your main like winning ad set. And then once you find a new winning DCT, what you do is you move that copy that post ID and then you um, go ahead and you put in your main ad set. And I'll show you that really quick of how you do that. So let's say, for example, this 139 took off, it's crushing, it's getting more spin than our main ad set and it's creating a positive impact on the business. Then what I'll do is I'll just go to share, see Facebook posts with comments. And then there's a few different ways you might have to do this and we'll try to explore all of them in this video. But what you're gonna do is remove the Facebook, the, the business before Facebook. So I'm gonna do this, there we go. Okay, and of course it wants to be a pain in the ass today. Sometimes, it, sometimes it's a little tricky. <laughs> That's basically what I'm trying to communicate to you guys. Uh, I'm gonna click on the um, this icon a few different times, uh, the time icon, and you can see how the link changed a few times. Now let's try this one more time. Haha, -ha, there we go. So one way to do it is do this. There we go. And then going into your main, and you would still leave the DCT on until uh, it takes off into your main ad set. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit create. Uh, it's actually funny because these ads actually did create like new winners you set up there we go and then enter post id and then paste that in there may work it may not aha so it didn't work so what i can do is i can do select post and i think i can paste it right here there we go and then i hit continue and i'll just double check to make sure that's the correct one there we go it is and then hit publish and there we go i just pasted my winning post id into my main ad sets and then once this one takes off and starts to get some spin, because I know it in confidence a winner because it's th that DCT spent more than my main ad set, then what I'll do is, is then I'll turn off a DCT once that main starts taking off. Simple as that. So yeah, this is how we create new creative tests. And also to make sure you watch my video of why I never turn off a Facebook ad, because what you wanna do is you wanna fill up this ad set full of winning ads. We have 30 plus active ads in one of our account for like the main ad set. So do not feel like you can only put one winner in here. I had a student recently and I thought they could only put one winner in there. No, you can fill up your main asset with winning ads as long as that DCT has been proven to be a winning ad by spending more than your main ad set first. 
that's it. But yeah, and then like I said, once it takes off, you can simply just turn that thing off and just let it ride out. And then you can just keep launching new DCTs. You can see right here, I launched more new DCTs um, for other parts of the business. And I just keep following these particular, uh, you know, kind of guidelines specifically. So hopefully that helps answer it. I think probably the only thing I didn't really turn on, talk about is like, yeah, like if it doesn't, you know, if you run it for three days and it doesn't create any impact on the business, turn it off. If you run it for three days, if it does, then that's when you move, leave the DCT on, move the post ID to your winner's ad set. Once it takes off in your winner's ad set, turn off the DCT and you're good to go. So hopefully you guys found it valuable in this video. Uh, make sure to like button, hit that subscribe button for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And then yeah, guys, great talk to y'all. Have a good rest of y'all day. Peace.